Hey, what's up everyone? This is Silver Slayer. Thank you for tuning into this video. I have an incredible video for you today. I've put a lot of time and a lot of thought into this video, so please like and subscribe. This all started because I'm trying to uncover, or unravel silver's true price, its true value. And in doing so, I've came across a couple bumps. Well, first, if you saw my video yesterday, silver prices are being manipulated. The prices are being rigged. And yesterday, I dove deep into the realm of this manipulation from central banks. It's called spoofing. JP Morgan's employees got sent to prison. It's crazy. So check that video out if you want to get the whole gist of that. But now I want to take it a step further. Now we had we had the what happened or, or we, we see what happened, but why are they doing it, right? We don't have the why. That's what I found out in this video, but there's also more. Yes, there's even more. I found another article explaining where silver's true value could lie and the, the price is, is outstanding. The, the price is almost unbelievable, but there's, there's real points to be made. So let's jump into this whole thing. So the banks don't want you to own gold. Now that's pretty obvious, right? Because first things first, the dollar isn't worth anything. Gold and silver is. So over time, the dollar loses value. Gold appreciates in value. You see what I'm saying? Over time, gold rises and the dollar falls. It's that simple. So banks want you to own dollars because gold is a direct threat just like the beginning of the article says of course banks don't like gold burger king doesn't like mcdonald's ford doesn't like mercedes you see you see where we're going with this but the sickening part is a our dollars used to be backed by gold and silver now they're not and b banks own a lot of gold so what's going on here i'll tell you what's going on it's a power move. If you own gold and silver, you're in complete control of your wealth. They cannot control you. It's all about control. If you are in debt, you are a slave to the system, and you have to bow down to them. That's what they want. That's why they're going to push stock markets before they push precious metals, because precious metals allows you to be in control of your own wealth, not them. So now that we got that out of the way, so let's keep going on. They have seen their clients walk in to pull out money, head straight to the gold desk, right? And, and see what we're getting. Picture that. Paint that picture in your head. Imagine you go into a bank, right? You take money out, but then you transfer it into gold. So that money they just lost. And now you actually own something that's valuable. So that's why it is amusing to watch Bank of America fall all over itself trying to explain why gold is rising, even though it doesn't really want its customers to own gold. And that's why you'll hear, you know, the, the gold bug, the, the conspiracy theory, uh, how gold is, is kind of out there. It's kind of wonky. It's not a very strong price. They're, they'll say anything to make the precious metals uh, market and, and when the prices do rise, almost like a miracle, like it shouldn't be happening. That's how they're gonna paint it for you. And then they're gonna talk about the S&P 500 right afterwards to mask the, the, real, the real thing that's happening in the markets, right? So anyways, let, let's keep going on. So, the bank warns of a stock market sell-off thanks to ultra easy monetary policies that have floated equities to unsustainable levels prevented needed corrections and kept zombie companies alive but the key observation at least in our view is that the inevitable stock market sell-off will prompt central banks to increase liquidity operations money printing even further so a sell-off uh, may prompt central banks to ease more aggressively making gold an even more attractive asset to hold so we've been saying so everything that's happening whether it's supply and demand you know supply shortage demand rise whether it all started from the u.s china trade negotiations the 2020 presidential election the global pandemic right the trillion dollar stimulus packages were put together everything is putting fuel to the flame for gold and silver 
So, anyways, since we looked at yesterday the spoofing, we know that silver prices are somewhat manipulated or rigged. And I always ask the question to what extent, right? To what extent is gold and silver really manipulated? And what would the natural price be? And see, the, right off the bat, and you see this says $5,000 silver. And yes, that's a crazy number. It would be more likely to see $5,000 gold. But it's not about the number because silver's true value honestly is unknown. It really is. Anytime we've looked at silver's price, we're looking at the price, the value of that ounce of silver during a specific point in time where the stock market was a specific rate where the dollar index was a specific price, where the economy was at a specific point in time. If you draw, if you take, strip all that away, then you're left with silver's true value. We've never had that happen yet, but trust me, the dollar won't last forever, right? When the stock markets crash, what's gonna happen to silver prices? This is where we can get more insight. It goes back to biblical historical times. Did you know back in the day, silver was just as valuable as gold? The ratio was one to one. Then it became two and a half to one, right? This was Egyptian days. Two and a half part silver equals one part gold. That was the ratio. They saw silver as magical because it could purify water, right? It responded to other elements like no other metal has. So yes, silver is actually more valuable than, than gold is, and it actually... Um, it, there's less of it circulating around the globe. A lot of gold is remelted. A lot of silver is lost in technology. But anyways, just to give a little context of where I'm going, when you see these numbers, it, it's, it's not unrealistic, right? So let's see what they have to say. So if the price of silver were based directly on the real physical silver market, silver's price should be at $5,000 an ounce. Now, before we keep going on, I got to say something else. <laughs> silver is not going to reach $5,000. And it's crazy that I have to say this. It should be obvious, but I still have to say it. Silver's price is not going to be $5,000 an ounce tomorrow, not next week, not next month, not next year, probably not even in 10 years. People will try to bring people in, there, attract new stackers by saying incredibly large amounts in a cred incredibly short periods of time. I don't want to do that. I don't want to mislead you. I don't want you to have a false, a false interpretation of precious metals. Yes, you can make a lot of money from it, but it's not a get rich quick scheme. If you want that, go to Bitcoin, right? So anyways, I'm not so so he's he goes on to say uh, he's saying that the actual physical silver spot price is not only extremely undervalued, but that is an illusion compared to the real value of an ounce of physical silver. And that's kind of what I'm saying. Right. That's what I was saying a second ago, where if we strip away everything that's that's kind of that's kind of rendering silver's price, we would see the real price. But it's really unknown. And that's what I like about this article, because the first sentence the first paragraph explains what i've been trying to say for so many years so and they say this because it's totally disconnected from reality let me explain further so and he actually goes into numbers right this video is really good because not only does he say an crazy uh, an insanely high price for silver but he breaks it down to the numbers, influences and puts the effects of of not only you know stock markets, the the banks, but but the economy as well. So let's keep going. A price of five thousand dollars may seem totally crazy, but who can pretend knowing exactly how an ounce of silver is worth? After decades of manipulation and turning real investors' demand from physical market to paper one and years of exponential monetary printing by all the planet's central banks. That's so true, right? See, the physical versus paper market difference. The actual spot price for silver has no real value and is not legitimate when we seriously compare the real physical market to the paper market in its myriad of financial derivatives. See, this is, see, 
this is this is going to be kind of confusing for some, especially if you're newer and you're still kind of figuring out um, silver, the silver market or what silver is really worth, because the spot price is essentially irrelevant. See, it's not the spot price attached, it's the metal content inside of it. Whoever, you know, no matter who says that one ounce silver coin is worth what, that's irrelevant because the true value of that coin isn't the spot price attached to it, but it's the metal inside of the coin. So, according to an article from Bloomberg, which has always been a reliable source with their published data, the size of the global annual silver market is equal to $5 trillion. So that's the first number, $5 trillion. According to a recent interview with David Morgan, the annual physical silver production is roughly 1 billion ounces. So with silver trading around $20 currently, this represents a $20 billion market for physical silver. So the size of the physical silver market is of $20 billion. So remember that number. So the 250 to 1 leverage, the above discrepancy, so makes for a 250 to 1 ratio between the paper market and the physical market, meaning that for every ounce of physical silver, there are 250 ounces of paper silver circulating in several financial products. In other words, only one contract or certificate issued out of 250 could be convertible into physical silver. And they're talking about ETFs, ETPs, right? Exchange traded funds, exchange traded products. That is, the silver market is being leveraged to 250 to 1. So the, multiplica the multiplication of those financial products on silver has skirted investors' demand from the real physical market, thus creating a virtual silver supply without putting any pressure on the physical silver market, a roundabout way to keeping the price low. If now, as the regulation agencies are claiming, the goal is to create a new fixing for the silver that would better reflect the physical market, um, and notably from pressure coming from countries like China, you know, wishing to have their say in fixing the precious metal prices, the leverage between paper, silver, and physical silver is at risk of radically evolving. So let's hypothesize what the silver price would be directly based on the physical silver market. Today, the actual size of the silver market, according to Bloomberg, is 5 trillion. 5 trillion divided by 20 billion is 250. 250 times $20 silver spot price is $5,000 an ounce. So, you see the numbers, and it actually makes sense, right? I'm not saying it's going to happen today, but over time, you can see how it actually makes sense. So silver sitting at $27 right now is worth absolutely nothing. You should not be saying the, the price of silver is too expensive for you. Even when silver gets to, to $30 to $50, that should still be nothing to you. If you are debating on buying silver at $27, because you want to wait for a dollar difference if it goes to 26 or whatever you're literally just messing around with the relevant numbers at that point $26 $28 $30 50 it's all the same in the grand scheme of things the bigger picture because silver is much more valuable than any of those numbers combined so here's the conclusion every investor holding silver in the form of financial products without the possibility of verifying the physical existence of their investment should ask the question as to what will happen when more holders of the said product will ask for physical delivery. And that's so true, right? Everyone's starting to want the physical delivery, but as you see, it's 250 to 1. That's the ratio. There's not that much silver to go around. There's already a huge silver shortage with 5G technology, electric vehicles, solar panels. There's a huge demand rising, and there's not going to be enough silver to go around, literally. So, not to scare you, more to motivate you, to start stacking silver because it will change your life and silver is extremely undervalued anyways i'm gonna wrap this video up here i told you this was an incredible video one of my favorite videos i've done in a long time i feel like everything was just kind of pieced together perfectly from leading in from yesterday's video by the way you should check that video out as well but in today's video and kind of wrapping up kind of summarizing where my mind has been going <laughs> with this with this crazy precious metals market so anyways I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash the like button, subscribe. I post daily videos like this every single day, giving you the newest, latest, freshest information in the world of precious metals. Thanks for tuning in. This was Silver Slayer. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.